Oklahoma's senior U.S. Senator has decided to give a series of speeches on the floor of the U.S. Senate seeking support for increased defense spending. Senator Jim Inhofe believes that the Russians and Chinese are advancing past the U.S. in weaponry and military technology, and only increased spending will turn that around. In his first of a series of weekly speeches, Oklahoma U.S. Senator Jim Inhofe credited President Trump for having the right vision on defense spending and blaming former President Obama for weakening the military. Now, he warns, people back home are confused. Now, I don't know how, but a lot of the people back home have got in their heads that defending America is a complicated issue. And, and you know, it, it's the kind of issue that they think is going to have to be decided in Washington by a lot of smart people and all that, but nothing could be further from the truth. The, uh, the, the main thing that we have, the reality is that defending America is just common sense. It's called priority, it's something we didn't have in the last administration. Senator Inhofe wants to protect the DOD from budget cuts under sequestration. We went from fiscal year uh, 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 three years ago, eight, uh, 18, to $700 billion, and then uh, 2009, in fiscal year uh, 19, went to, uh, to uh, 7000 uh, 16, and then this would be actually going up to 73. Now, if that happens, do the math, that's an increase of 2.1%, uh, which is not, it is not even a growth, it's a no growth budget. And I have to say that both General Dunford, Secretary Mattis, and the rest of them have called for fully implementing the National Defense Strategy, which would require between five and uh, three and five percent uh, of, uh, of real growth. Inhofe's speeches come at a time when the nation's deficit spending is peaking at nearly a trillion dollars a year. The national debt is now in excess of 21 trillion, the highest it has ever been. On both sides of the aisle, we have, have some individuals that are advocating for cutting in defense spending because of the increased deficit. You know, I'm concerned about the increased deficit, but we also have to have this priority. Defense spending is not a primary reason for our increased debt. We could eliminate the entire Pentagon budget and the deficit would uh, actually grow. And here's why. Over the past 10 years, our national debt has grown 86%. During the same time, mandatory spending has grown 41%. And all that time, defense spending has been cut by 3%. Senator Inhofe, who is chairman of the Senate Armed Services Committee, sees only one way to spend what he believes the U.S. should be spending on defense and at the same time beginning to reduce the rising deficit. So we've got to do something about the growing debt, but when, uh, the only way we can actually curtail it is to address the growth in mandatory spending. There are a lot of programs in mandatory spending that could be cut and would have to do it. Because, if, again, if you cut the entire defense budget out, it would not reduce or eliminate the debt. In this current fiscal year, federal spending is $4.4 trillion. 62% of that goes to mandatory spending, which is Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, military pensions, food stamps, and Social Security disability, among other programs. In fiscal year 2019, mandatory spending will top $2.7 trillion. Social Security alone will cost just over a trillion, with current payroll taxes providing over $900 billion of that. Once the cost of various wars are included in the Defense Department budget, the price tag for fiscal year 2019 is $886 billion, the largest budget of any federal agency. Senator Inhofe also made headlines after purchasing thousands of dollars in defense contractor stock after winning approval for increased military spending from the White House. Senator Inhofe's disclosure statement shows he bought up to $100,000 in stock in U.S. defense contractor Raytheon. Senator Inhofe says that he has since canceled the transaction, saying he didn't know his broker had made the purchase.